If you've been following Recoma on our social media platforms, you've probably already heard by now that we've recently added the Ricoh RI2000 direct to garment printer to our product line. And ever since we've added this new DTG printer, the question that's been on everyone's mind is what exactly is the difference between the Ricoh RI1000 versus the newer RI2000? On the surface, these two DTG printers might look the same, but if you dig deeper, there's actually more than meets the eye between these two workhorses. So in today's video, I'm going to break down for you the major similarities and some key differences between these two printers so you can decide what's best for your business. All right, you guys, for those of you that are new to this channel, my name is Henry Ma, I'm the CEO of Recoma, and this channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about the apparel integration business to help you start or scale in this industry. If you enjoy content like this and find this information helpful, all I ask you to do is give this video a quick thumbs up as it greatly helps out this channel, and make sure to smash that subscribe button so you keep up to date with new videos as soon as they come out. All right, before we jump into the similarities and differences between the Ricoh RI1000 and the newer RI2000 printers, I do want to give a quick overview of what DDG is for those of you that are not familiar with this method. So what exactly is direct to garment printing or DDG for short? Simply put, as the name itself implies, DDG printing is an apparel decoration method that allows you to print directly onto the garment itself without the need of special transfer paper. First, coat your garment with pretreatment liquid either by using a spray gun or an automatic pretreatment machine. Next, you can use a heat press to dissolve the pretreatment liquid so that it can be cured within the fabric. Next, you will simply insert your pre-treated garment into the DTG printer and with a design loaded, simply press print as you would with a normal office printer. Finally, use a heat press again to press it and cure the garment so that the ink binds with the fabric. By the way, if you're interested to learn more about the actual directed garment printing process, we do have several videos on our channel showcasing that and walking you through each step of the process in great detail. So I've linked those videos in the cards above and down in the description below so you can check them out later. So now that you know what the DTG process is like, let's go ahead and compare the similarities and differences between two of the best DTG printers on the market, the Ricoh RI1000 and the newer Ricoh RI2000 printers. We'll be comparing them in terms of efficiency and profitability so you can take these metrics into consideration when deciding which one fits your needs. Now starting off in the category of efficiency, there's actually quite a lot of similarities between the two printers. For example, both machines are considered walk-up ready, which means you can walk up to it and print at any any given time because both machines have some self-maintenance features that allows the machine to be maintained while it's not in use and have it ready at all times for you to go and print. Some of these self-maintenance features that both machines have include the intelligent self-cleaning system as well as white ink circulation so that it can maintain the lines free of clog from any white ink that might sit there. The machine, as long as it's plugged in and turned on, is actually set on a schedule to circulate the white ink every couple of hours so that it can keep the lines flowing and not have any clogs, which can be a big issue for DDG printers if it's not maintained properly. In addition, both of these printers have a quick change platen system where you can change out different platens of different sizes for different projects you're looking to take on. Finally, both printers can also do direct to film printing or DTF for short, which is getting very popular in the industry. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the DTF printing process, it essentially involves printing a design onto a special film and then applying and melting a a powder adhesive to the printed film. Finally, you press the design onto the garment or merchandise using a heat press. In order to do this process, you would need the special film as well as the powder adhesive, but you wouldn't need other equipment because your DTG printer can also do this process. Essentially, think of it as getting two different types of printers rolled into one. In fact, many DTF printers on the market will cost you anywhere between two to four thousand dollars just by itself, but you get that feature absolutely free included with your DTG printer here. Just as a side note, there are some advantages to a DTF printing that you might want to consider. For example, there's no need to pre-treat the actual film like you would with pre-treating the garment with DTG. That might save you some pre-treatment costs as well as time in the pre-treatment process. One other thing to consider is with DTG printing, it might not be very feasible to stockpile merchandise ahead of time. On the other hand, with DTF printing, you can actually just stockpile a lot of printed film with designs on them and then be able to apply that at any given time 
time to various garments. This can allow you more flexibility to apply them to garments of a variety of sizes or colors that you might not be able to stockpile with DTG. All right, so we've pretty much covered all the similarities between these two machines. Now let's move on to the differences. First off is speed. The Ricoh RI1000 can print a 10 by 8 graphic on a light garment in under 28 seconds. While that might seem pretty fast, the Ricoh RI2000 can actually print the same design on a light garment in under 10 seconds. The reason why the RI2000 is up to 80 times faster than the RI1000 is because it has a dual carriage system. This means it actually has two print heads instead of one and running simultaneously. For example, print head number one is dedicated for printing white ink and can lay down the white underbase on a dark garment. Then print head number two lays down the CMYK and your colors on top of that white underbase. The dedicated white ink cartridge also stores up to two liters of white ink across four different cartridges. This difference in speed alone is definitely super helpful for those shops that are focused on volume and can make a big difference in your production capacity. Next up, a big difference between the two printers is the garment setup. When you're printing on garments of various thicknesses, you will need to adjust the platen height that the garment sits on so that the print head can print on it seamlessly. With the Ricoh RI1000, it has a manual adjustment for the platen height versus the RI2000, it's automatic. So instead of cranking the dial manually to adjust the platen height on the RI1000, the RI2000, you can just push a button and the platen height will adjust automatically based on the thickness of the garment. The last major difference between these two machines is in the maintenance process. On the RI1000, it does require special cleaning swabs and wipes to clean the print head. On the other hand, the RI2000 comes with an innovative head cleaning jig that is designed for fast and easy nozzle maintenance. Instead of messing with swabs and wipes, you can now simply attach your cleaning jig, add cleaning solution, and select jig head maintenance on the control panel to start the maintenance process. All right, now that we covered efficiency, let's move on to the second and final category of profitability and return on your investment. Considering the low cost of blanks and supplies, both printers actually have pretty healthy profit margins. For example, a blank t-shirt might cost you two to three dollars at wholesale, and for each print, obviously depending on the print size and the type of design, probably costs about one dollar in ink per print. So you're all in to each garment for about three to four dollars, and you can sell that at retail for about 20 to 25 dollars. That's easily around the 20 dollars in just gross profit on a pretty conservative estimate, and that really allows you to scale your business further with that profit being reinvested back to growing your business. For example, if you print 500 of these t-shirts on demand using these DTG printers, you can easily net around a $10,000 gross profit after you take into account these expenses of blanks and supplies. To put it into perspective, you can easily pay off your monthly payments for your DTG machine if you're financing it with just one to two small orders of a dozen polo shirts or a dozen t-shirts. Because both printers also offer DTF printing technology, you can also use that for certain circumstances. DTF printing can save you on some cost of white ink because it doesn't need as much white ink as DTG would. Also, as I mentioned before, with DTF printing, your garments don't need to be pre-treated, so you do save some cost on the pre-treatment liquid as well as some time savings on the pre-treatment process. Again, having this DTF printing technology rolled into your DTG printer is definitely a flexibility that will make your shop more versatile in different situations. So given those similarities, let's now talk about some of the differences between the RI1000 and the RI2000 in terms of their profitability and ROI. Right off the bat, the RI2000 is definitely going to cost more versus the RI1000 and will definitely require a more upfront cost to get started. Luckily, as I mentioned before, here at Recoma, we do offer 0% financing on all of our products, including these DTG printers. And if you're looking to get started, make sure to check out these financing options with 0% financing and no money down if you're qualified. Now, because the RI2000 is a bigger initial investment, you would need to print more garments on a daily or monthly basis to justify the higher cost. We've done some rough calculations with the numbers we mentioned before, such as the cost of the blanks and supplies. And it turns out with the RI1000, you will probably need to print about 20 garments on a daily basis to be able to pay off your machine in one single month versus about 30 garments daily on the RI2000 to be able to pay that off respectively. Now, one key note that I wanna make here is while it seems that the RI2000 would take more prints to recuperate your investment, you do want to keep in mind that because of its faster speed and productivity, you're able to do more in less time. So when you break down your profit or return on your investment on an hourly basis, the RI2000, given the same number of garments that you're printing, is definitely going to give you a higher return per hour than the RI1000. That's because you can simply print so much more with the RI2000 in a given time versus the RI1000. This would really expedite your ROI 
ROI. And especially for those that have a large volume, it is very justified because now you can spend less time printing and more time working on your business. All right, so in conclusion, the RI-1000 and the RI-2000 both offer the same quality of print on a variety of applications, as well as offering the flexibility of direct-to-film printing incorporated within the printer. Although both printers are very efficient and come equipped with many time-saving features, the RI-2000 does offer a leg up over the RI-1000 in terms of printing speed, the ease of setup, as well as maintenance. So definitely choose a printer based on your business goals and the volume that you're expecting for your shop. Finally, both printers offer a healthy profit margin for your business in that you can pay off your monthly payments with just one to two small orders every month. But because of its faster printing speed and efficiency, the RI-2000 will probably offer you a higher profit per hour versus the RI-1000 because you can simply do much more in that given time versus a slower printer. All right, that's it for us for today, guys. I hope you found this information helpful and that you got a solid understanding of the similarities and differences between these two printers. For more information on either of these printers, make sure to check them out in the links down below and contact one of our product specialists so that they can walk you through which printer is best suited for your needs. Last but not least, make sure to follow us on all of our social channels down below. We're very active on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, and some entertaining stuff on TikTok as well. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to give this a quick thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you keep up to date as soon as new videos are released. By the way, to join a large community of DTG printers and embroiderers and other people in the apparel integration space, make sure to join our free Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. I put that down in the link below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time.